Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, I will discuss about top 5 skills that you need to have to be a data analyst. And I will also talk about if you eventually want to be a data scientist and starting as a data analyst, what skills you will have to pick at later stages. So that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. If you are new here, I've subscribed to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel, be a part of Programming Cradle family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. And I also do live stream every Saturday at 12 p.m. British summer time. So you can join us there as well and you can ask your queries and you can join channel membership if you want to have one-to-one -one conversation with me so yeah with that being said let's start our discussion so the first skill is excel so microsoft excel is one of the tools which almost all the companies use and if you have a csv file if you have a excel file you can open it in excel and you can do so many manipulations or you can do so many calculations in excel so it is one of the very good tool to have and if you have excel and if you have very good hold over excel it is one of the very shout out skills that companies need their employees to have so first thing is excel now with that let's move on to the next skill which is sql so you will always have to access the database and extract the data by yourself it's not like somebody will download the data and they will pass on the csv file or excel file to you via email or you can download it from somewhere because when we do projects we just go to kaggle and click download and we download all the data set and we do all the data analysis in our python or r environment so it won't be like that you will have to extract the data on your own and you will have to set it up so for that sql is a very important tool to have and you need to really learn sql and if you want to learn sql there is this free resource called sql crash course i will leave the link into the description you can check out that it's a very good uh, resource and you can learn everything about sql there now with that being said let's move on to the next skill which is visualizing tools so it could be power bi it could be tableau it could be any other tool which you prefer but in the industry most of the companies use either power bi or tableau some companies use both of them so it is totally up to you which one you want to learn so what you can do is you can go to tableau's website and you can go to power bi's website and you can download the free trial version and you can try to create uh, projects in both of the tools and you can see which one you prefer both have their own functionality both can do a lot of different things so just try by yourself and see which one you prefer and uh, you can learn that and uh, if i just have to give you my personal opinion i have used tableau and power bi both Tableau is relatively easier to learn and uh, Power BI has this DAX thing which is a little bit complex but it's not that hard. So this is this is just my opinion but I highly suggest you to try both of these and see which one suits your uh, preference. So with that being said let's move on to the next skill which is programming language. It could be Python, it could be R, it could be any other language whichever you like but in the industry most of the companies like to use Python and uh, r is again a very powerful tool so there you have a lot of good packages like ggplot you can have a very good dashboard using shiny so r is again a very good tool and it has developed quite a lot in recent years so if you choose to go with r you won't be wrong but if i just talk about the industry standards and the companies what tool they like to use it's mostly python so to be on a safer side to have more opportunities you should stick to python but if you want to have even more opportunities you can probably learn both of these i personally know both of these maybe not to the extreme extent for r but uh, yeah i know r as well so yeah i prefer to use python over r but uh, at some time when i feel like a certain task is easier to do in r i use r as well so yeah this skill is actually very important so you need to learn a programming language now with that being said let's move on to the next skill which is cloud platform so these days most of the companies use cloud platform to do their daily tasks so it could be azure it could be aws it could be gcp so what you can do is you can go to these websites and you can take their free trial and you can try these and see which one suits you the best and you can learn them if you are able to learn at least two of these i think it should be good aws is probably the most popular one so i think if you go with aws you will be on the most safer side that is just my opinion but i would suggest you to just play around all the tools because they are all good they are all providing certain functionalities and one platform is good in something so other platform is good in other things so it's all about trying which platforms flavor you like the most so based on that you can choose one so these are the five skills that you need to have to be a data analyst now if i have to talk about 
skills that you need to pick up at later stages to be a data scientist or if you want to make transition to data scientist you should learn machine learning and deep learning so as a data scientist you will be doing quite a lot of model training and model testing things like that so for that you need to know machine learning and deep learning as well and uh, as part of your uh, data analysis skills you have already learned um, cloud architectures so picking up ml ops won't be a big issue for you so yeah these are the skills that you need to be a data scientist and uh, top five skills for a data analyst so yeah this is what i want to discuss in this video i hope you found this video helpful the link of the data science notes will be in the description so you can download that you can also join our telegram group where we have a lot of different people talking about a lot of different stuff and it is always helpful and you get a lot of knowledge from the group so yeah do join our telegram group as well so with that being said i'll see you in the next video bye happy learning don't forget to subscribe share like and comment all those good things